All right, guys. So I will do a video on both of the healers today to see how they are doing. Um, they are both in shed with healers. It kind of becomes like a continuous thing after a while, especially if they are well fed. Uh, and the first one that I bought, which was essentially completely docile, had a little bit of a bad day the other day, uh, huffing and puffing and showing some aggression. Again, it's that time of the month for them, so it's a bit understandable. But let's see how he is doing. So this one, in my opinion, is the male, looking at the head shape. Hi. Yeah, you're okay, right? You're okay. Let's get you out of there. Under some natural rock light. Here we go. So, as I said, he's in shed. He ate a nice adult mouse, a um, young adult mouse, about a week ago. And as you can see, oops, sorry, he is doing actually very good. Showed no aggression today, so that was a little bit of a one time thing, but this reminds us, right? These are wild animals, so even though I have a, uh, you know, trust relationship with them, we gotta be careful. Oops. That was a fall. Hi. Hello. So, with these animals, obviously touching the head is really risky. A, obviously that's where they bite, but B, uh, they feel insecure when you control their head. So, but you can see I am not even manipulating him, I am holding him and restricting his movement and he's still fine with it, which is absolutely amazing. This is the level that I wanted to get and we got here pretty quickly. All right, so that is the male, as I said, looking at the head shape, the stucky head and neck, as you can see. Uh, this is still a guess, obviously, right? But it's usually a good guess with this species. All right, so let's put him here on his rock and put his hide box in. So these guys usually leave their burrows like once a day, walk around, sometimes take a drink and get back. And we keep their cages locked as state regulation dictates. Plus, I have a two-year-old in the house, so I want to be sure that we don't have an escaped venomous lizard. Even though, you know, they are quite easy to deal with. We don't want a baby picking them up. All right. Okay, so this one is the potential female. The younger one, the one that came completely... Um, defensive and you can see that there is still a little bit of huffing and puffing but overall you know I can pick her up easily without a problem I can hold her restrict her movement And she is not at all gaping or showing any sort of defensive behavior. She just wants to be able to move. Now let's look at the head shape here. As you can see, this one, the head is more elongated and less stout. Uh, it looks more delicate uh, compared to the potential male. So this is how we differentiate with these guys and obviously hope for the best. So this pair is unrelated. They were produced by different people from uh, different adults. So hopefully we have a 
an unrelated sex pair of banded Gila monsters here. But again, as you can see, even with her, it's completely um, nice. No defensive, uh, you know, movements at all. I can hold her, do whatever I want uh, without, you know, causing her any pain. Uh, hold her tail, you know, and she is totally fine with it now after about a month's worth of interaction. Her name is Siru. The male is called Jazz. And they are my... You know, you don't want to call these animals pets maybe, but I, I see them as my pets. As you can see, you know, I can easily play with her and scratch her and make her feel comfortable in my hand. This is very restrictive hold and she is fine with it as you can see. I can even scratch underneath her head which is not armored in Gila monsters. If you look it's soft skin so that's where they would not feel as comfortable as other areas of their body. Right guys Hope you like this video again this is to show to you the progress of both animals and how they look and behave with me and i hope you liked it and sorry for one-handed uh cell phone camera job hopefully it was good enough for the video all right take care bye